pipes buried deep in the dump to collect methane and burn it off. Converting methane to CO2 takes the worst greenhouse gas and makes it less harmful. As a byproduct, they also generate electricity. One mountain of garbage equals 100,000 carbon credits per year. Pangea, an Italian utility company that built the project, can use this credit to offset their pollution problems in Europe. It's a pilot project that could work at other dumps. Which is why Sean Burns has come to Manila to meet with businessman Simon Paz. You look like Tom Cruise, far away. <laughs> Simon trucks garbage to dumps across the Philippines and wants Sean's help to harvest potential carbon credits at some of the other sites. What I'm planning is when I get this carbon credit, uh, I'm, I'm going to use it for my future development to, to put up another site for uh, landfill in the Philippines. Today, they're checking out the new system at Garbage Mountain. That's the sound of money because if there's 100,000 tons coming from this site, uh, probably net, net to the operator, that's a million a year. One to a million and a half a year dollars. I think car carbon credit will be a big help for the people. The man who runs the mountain and administers the carbon credit money is Colonel Roberto Gemalin. The mayor told me, that this is for the benefit of our people in Payatas. So this will support the sustainable projects in, uh, in Payatas. And now at my back, you see a newly constructed uh, bridge connecting two barangays. Barangays are villages, and the bridge doesn't exactly connect them. Seems the on-ramps were never built. But there were other promises made to the local villagers. And then there are two schools and one uh, big health center, and that is already funded out of the seven million that we have here in Payatas. Whatever the promises, the people living in these muddy streets at the base of Garbage Mountain haven't seen much improvement. Pastor June Carlos runs the church in this village. I don't think so that God uh, wants people to live like this. I think the money should go from carbon credits. It should go to the people that surrounds the dump site, to the people who depend on their living in the dump site. An army of 10,000 scavengers still scours Garbage Mountain. They take shifts day and night. They make only pennies a day. There are no carbon credits at the end of their rainbow. Sean Burns has come face to face with one of the ethical quandaries of global carbon trading. Carbon profits don't always flow to the people at the bottom of the heap. The answer, says Sean, is stronger regulation and enforcement. I think now carbon can provide a lot more to put money into the communities and get people out of harm's way. Sure, a little piece of me cries when I see this. This village is full of kids. Look how many kids there are around here. They're all, they're all under the age of 10. People who live in the shadow of Garbage Mountain may not know much about carbon credits. But the farmers of Lucknow, India clearly do. People here make less than a dollar a day from their crops. But now they're also making carbon credits. These farmers used to pay exorbitant fees to rent diesel water pumps to irrigate their fields. Now, Pawan Singh's project allows farmers to buy less expensive bamboo treadles instead. It's a